Hello, church family, and welcome to church. Whether you are joining us through the screen or you're in the auditorium, we are so glad that you've made it for church today. My name is Candice, and I have a few announcements for you before we get started with our service. All right, so. First up, I want to remind everyone of our general meeting, and that is happening on Wednesday, the 18th of November. This is a critical meeting in the life of our church. So if you are a member of RUC, please diarize the date right now. We will be meeting in person here at church, and we will be meeting at 7 p.m. For those who can't join us in person, we will be streaming it on our Go Live platform. And whether you'll be joining us in person or staying at home, you will be able to vote. But to vote, you must pre-register for our general meeting. So both those coming in person and those joining us online, you must pre-register. And you can do that right now. And the details on how to do that are in our street times. So please check that out. And for details on what is being discussed in the general meeting, please check out Richard's announcements from last week and see the details in the Street Times. So next up, I have a huge ask, and that is to ask for your help. And if um, you are able to, with all the new COVID regulations, we need a couple of extra hands to help on a Sunday to make our worship services great. And so if you have a heart for people and you love cool tech, then we would love for you to join our team. And if God is maybe nudging you to be involved, come to the front of the auditorium and Brett will be there to take down your details and give you some more information. All right, so next up, some really exciting news um, and a huge announcement is that many people have been asking about our baptism services. And while this is the great news, everyone, we are able to have a COVID-friendly baptism service on Sunday, the 29th of November. And if you would like to be baptized or simply want to know more about baptism, then we'll be having a baptism class after the service next week. So book your spot or for more information, please email rosan at ruc.org.za or simply check out the Street Times. Now, over to Noni. Hello, hi everyone. It's me or us from Ignition. And it is the time of the year where we are pleading for mentors to take on our students who are joining the university. And these are the students coming largely from Alex, uh, from underprivileged families. And most of them, they are probably the first in their families to have made it to university. So they have got no point of reference whatsoever. So we're looking for someone who's ever thought about uh, mentorship, or you have mentored somebody or not mentored somebody, or you might be a product of mentoring yourself, and you have thought how you actually can do it. This is an opportunity for you to serve God in this ministry. So we are having an information session on the 17th of November. It will be a Zoom meeting at 7.30 p.m. If you want to know more about ignition it could be the ignition mentoring it could be any other information you would like to partner us with in ignition please join us for the information session we will answer most of your questions or you could uh, send us an email on ignitions at, at ignition at raiseofhope.co.za and we'll be able to answer any questions that you might be interested in otherwise we're looking forward to hearing and partnering uh, with you join us on the 17th of november at 7 30 p.m zoom details provided below thank you very much So thank you so much, Noni. We really love Race of Hope. Okay, now my very final announcement is so dear to my heart and it is about red frogs. Now, by now, I'm sure you all know how much we as RUC love the red frogs. So check out this short clip about the red frogs and why we are still going down to metric rage. When the world stops, Events are cancelled. Plans are erased. Love still prevails. Small acts of kindness become more valuable than gold. And we're reminded that we're all on this wild ride together. People often ask, why red frogs? Red frogs is more than just events. The events give us a chance to exchange moments of kindness and acceptance. But the event is never the point. Yeah. 
The point is genuinely loving people who are searching for connection. People who are lonely. People who are anxious or scared. People who feel unseen and overlooked. People who need a smile. After all, people just want to feel like they truly belong. So it's in times like these that we can still stir our hearts with who we are and what we are here to do. To support those who need it the most. Why Red Frogs? People. Always people. Against all odds, Matric Rage is still going ahead. And so we as the Red Frogs are going to be there. And if you would like to be involved in Red Frogs in any way, that could be by joining us as a volunteer or by helping us with pancake mix or even accommodation in Palito or Umschlange in the first week of December, please find Sebastian and me out in the street after the service. Alrighty, that's it from me. Please enjoy the service. And for those who are joining us in the auditorium, please remember to keep three seats between family groups and at all times, wear your mask over your mouth and nose. That's all. Please enjoy the service. We love you, church family.